Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another video and this is going to be the updated, updated version of how to get a promo picture for the Epic Games version of Rocket League because I made an updated version of this tutorial just about two months ago and now they've completely changed the method so I have to make a new one, which is fun. But without further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial. Just a quick note before we get started, I do have a section at the end of the video with frequently asked questions which answers the question does this show up for other people? So if you want to know the answer for that, then stay watching. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to download Backers Mod. Just head to the first link in the description, press on, click here to download, and it will download the setup. Inside that folder, you'll see this Backers Mod setup.exe. Just run it and go through all of the steps. I'm not actually going to be doing that because I already have it installed. But once Backers Mod is installed, you should see something like this, which says injected, press F2 in-game for options menu. You do need to have Rocket League open for this to show up. And if you go into Rocket League, press F2, this should come up if you've installed it correctly. It's pretty easy to install, just follow the steps. And once that's confirmed to be installed, next thing you want to do is to head to the second link in the description and it will take you to this alpha console for Backers Mod plugin. Once you're on this page, all you need to do is click this blue button here, which says install with Backers Mod. And this pop-up here will come up, which says open plugin installer. And this is where I do need to specify, if you have pressed the blue button and it doesn't come up, make sure they are using either Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. I know some other browsers have issues with this window not popping up. So make sure that you're using one of those two browsers. All you need to do is press open plugin installer. It will open up this Windows terminal and it will say plugin has been installed. Then just hit enter. And now if you head back into Rocket League and if you press the F5 key, you will see this window pop up, which is the Alpha Console plugin. Now that we've confirmed that the plugin's installed, we need to go and get our profile picture and make a couple little tweaks to it just to ensure that it's going to be compatible with the plugin. I'm going to assume that you already know what profile picture you want to use. So I'm just going to go grab one off of Google. I'm just going to grab this this cool little cat with the with the sunglasses and download it. And once you have the picture that you want to use, you need to head to the third link in the description, which is photopia.com. It's pretty much like an online version of Photoshop. And here we're just going to be making some little tweaks to the profile picture to make sure that it's compatible with the plugin. So what you want to do is press new project. And for the width and the height here, I recommend using 400 by 400. 800 by 800 also works, but with a profile picture that small, the extra resolution isn't really going to be seen anyway. So I think 400 by 400 is fine. And you just want to press create and it will make this white square in a brand new project here. Now what you want to do is to navigate to your profile picture in your file explorer. So I have it here and I just want to drag it on top. Press the tick button and it will go underneath the background layer. So you just want to drag it above. And here we have our profile picture inside of Photopia. This is where you may need to do some manual adjustment yourself. If the profile picture is like really long or something, you want to hold down shift and drag these little boxes just to make sure that it's the right size. You pretty much want to make it how you want it to look inside of this little square here. Now, once you're happy with your profile picture, you just need to go up to file, export as, and go to PNG. And here for the name, you can call it whatever you want. I'd suggest just doing something like profile picture, just like that, and then press save, and it will get sent to your downloads folder. Now that we have our profile picture.png that we've just downloaded, we want to go back into Rocket League, press the F5 key again to bring up Alpha Console plugin, go to cosmetics, and you'll have avatar texture mods, as the very top, I guess, drop down menu. And you want to click on open directory. And here we will see two files in this folder. You will have this JSON file. If you don't see the file extension, you can just go to show file name extensions. You'll see texture package and you'll see AC logo. And what we want to do is we want to get the image that we just downloaded from Photopia and just drag it into the avatar textures folder here. Now we can close out of our downloads. Now what you want to do is select this textures package folder here and then control C to copy, control V to paste, or you can just right click it, copy, and then right click it, paste, and it'll make a copy. You can rename this to copy to whatever you want. So I'm just going to call it profile picture. And here we will see the profile picture image and the profile picture file. Now what you want to do is to double click this file. And if it asks you to select an app to open the file in, just click on notepad and then click on always. 
And here we'll see some text. This is the name of the profile picture, which is going to show up inside of Alpha Console. You can call this whatever you want, but just for consistency, I'm just going to call it profile picture. And now what you're going to do is when it says diffuse, you want to replace the name here. So replace AC underscore logo with profile picture. You pretty much want to replace it with whatever file name your profile picture is. So here is profile picture dot PNG. You can't see the dot PNG, but if you go to view, show file name extensions, it'll be there, profile picture dot PNG. So that's why we want to have it as profile picture dot PNG in the diffuse. Then you just hit control S and now you can close out of all of this. Now what you want to do is to go back into Rocket League and press F5 and click on avatar texture. Scroll down and it will say profile picture, profile picture. Now just click on that and you will need to go into free play just to reload it. And as you can see, it will be working. For some reason it doesn't work in the menu unfortunately. But if I go into game and I quickly score a goal, you can see that it works on the banner. But yeah, that is pretty much it for the tutorial. The really good thing about this is because now it's a drop down menu instead of just a singular PNG. You can technically do this with multiple pictures. You just need to copy paste this and add in your other picture and then just change the name and the file name. And then you can select multiple pictures from the drop down so you don't have to keep swapping around the image every time you want to change your profile picture. If you do have any issues getting this profile picture working, then make sure to join the Discord server that's linked below in the description where I will be able to offer you guys support and see if maybe you've done something wrong in the process. So now comes to the frequently asked questions part of the tutorial and pretty much the most asked question from the previous version of this tutorial is does this show for other people and the answer is unfortunately no even if they have alpha console and they have backers mod installed it will not show for them it is a completely client side thing which means that all of the files are only on your PC they don't get uploaded anywhere for anyone else to see. It's exactly like if you were to use the item mod here inside of uh, inside of Becker's mod. You see how I have the Furia decal. This doesn't show for anyone else. The other people will see the NRG car that I have on. And uh, yeah, so unfortunately this isn't viewable from anybody else. Another frequently asked question that people have is if they click the install of Becker's mod thing, this doesn't even come up even if they are on Chrome or on Microsoft Edge. And a workaround for that is that you can install it without this button is if you press this drop down here there'll be the download files button and that will download a zip folder which you can right click and press extract all inside the folder you'll have two folders you'll have data and plugins what you want to do is you want to keep this folder open and then open up backers mod which is here and then go to file open backers mod folder now you have two windows explorer windows open and all you want to do is drag the folders that you downloaded and drag them into the backers mod folder and it will install the plugin i already have it installed so i'm just going to skip but it will install the plugin in that method and then all you need to do is just do the same thing where you press f6 type plugin reload ac plugin and it will work but yeah that's about it thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next one